Hello there, thank you for joining me. And here we are back in Expeditions. Oh dear, that was fun. Right, well, I'm sorry I didn't record it, but I just pulled this out of the hole that he was in. Um, we're still 58 meters away from where we need to be. Still got no idea whereabouts it is. Um, I think it's on that little plateau over there, but I don't know. I just having a clue and I don't know how I'm going to get there so I thought what I might do is I might just drive off the edge here um, I hope you're well, I hope you're having a lovely day Bob's not having a lovely day I can get through there is he? oh dear Now he's stuck. I don't like this. This is hard work, this is. Just can't get through there. 32 meters away from where I need to be and I don't understand where it is I need to be. It's not telling me, it's not on the screen, it doesn't show me on the map. Just anything it shows you on the map is this bit here, which you can't really get to because if you look at it, there's no real way up there from what I can tell. Which isn't much, I must admit, but you're supposed to climb up there. Maybe through there, but how you're supposed to get to that side, I don't know. And as far as this seismic scanning is supposed to con is concerned, I don't know how I'm supposed to do that either. I'm stuck on this tree something proper. I'm not getting anywhere, am I? Yeah, I'd be scratching my head as well, Bob. But no idea, mate. No idea at all. We managed to get fuel, but when I found it, when I when I finally got the vehicle over with that was supposed to be full of fuel, it wasn't. It didn't have any fuel in it. Only its normal little bit, which didn't help. You can get through there. And the only way past it would be in front of it there. I'm not too sure we'd make that. Because that tree's just in the way. I know this is supposed to be a very hard mission, but it's very hard. And then there's like, at least give me an idea of what I'm supposed to be doing, you know? <laughs> That's not good news. Um, I can't even put these down anywhere. Oh dear. I think we're a bit stuck here, Bob. We're going to go over the edge. Back in the place you started, mate. Although now you're on your side. Brilliant. Fantastic. Oh dear. You can rotate it. But that don't help us. Uh not much we can do apart from drop you there. Which is back in the place you were in the first place. Great. <laughs> oh dear. Sometimes I do wonder. 
apparently I can't drive forwards anymore. That's me stuck there again. Oh dear. I'm not enjoying this game at the moment, I must admit. I think this might well be the last episode I do on it because it's not getting the views. And Bob here, this is the closest view we've ever had of Bob. Goodness me. Hello, Bob. You alright there? Bouncing up and down. I'm still coming at you, mate. Yeah, so I just don't, don't know what else to do, really. I keep coming back to the same spot and I keep failing. I don't know, Bob. What do we do? What do we do? It was a right lava to try and get out of here last time. It took me like 10 minutes just to get him up this bit of wood here. And that was with the help of the other machine. I, mean, I can winch to things, but that doesn't really help. Because I'm too high to get under there. I don't really know what to do. Well, I know it'll be running out of fuel again. I wonder if I can try and get off this bit here, but down here. Just turning circle on this thing's terrible. And the camber on the ground just pushes him all over the shop and gets stuck on the tree again. I'm on the lowest tire pressures. Um, no, I'm not going to get up there, am I? Just not having it. Come on, come on. Oh, so close. I'm still fifty one meters away from where I need to be. not getting the grip. Mm. Maybe I'll be able to put one of those things down up here. Oh, it might work. Come on, you can do it. Yay! Uh oh. <laughs> Still 53 meters away and I'm going away from where I need to be now. I don't understand. I've driven around the entire thing and I just don't know whereabouts. Well, See, when I go this way, I'm going farther away from it. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, here we go again. 
It's just I don't understand where a person's supposed to be. Get it. 51 meters. But it's in that direction. Like. Uh, surely I just, I just don't see where I'm supposed to be with this thing. So I initially thought it was there. And I couldn't get past the tree which you just saw. And I've just fallen down. There doesn't seem to be any way up to this bit. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. turn on the edge of a cliff now. The slowest turning steering ever. I'm 48 meters away, so now I'm going forward. This is 452. I don't really understand where it wants me to go. And it's not making it very clear. Sorry, Bob. I don't know, mate. Don't go off the edge, though. The state of the front of the vehicle. <laughs> oh, dear. We're going away from here where we need to be again. We've gone past where we need to be. Let's just try around here again. can't see where it thinks I need to go. I'm 44 meters away now. You'd think 30 meters then that'd be plenty enough wouldn't you? Surely it's not up there. Because when I click on it, that seismic activity, this bit here, which is miles away from where I am, I'm closer to that one, which is the explore the area. Which doesn't make sense. I can't fly up here anyway. go high enough. It's as high as I can get the drone. And now it's just staring in the ground. I don't know where it thinks I'm supposed to go. I've explored 36% of it now though apparently. I just don't know what it means by thirty one meters and it was still counting down when I was going in this direction. That doesn't make much sense. I think 
I hate to say it, but I think this mission's a bit janky. So yeah, so I don't really know what to do, to be honest, because I've spent ages on this now. I've spent over an hour or so. What's that there? It's like an alien. I've spent over an hour trying to... Oh dear. Trying to get here. You'd think you'd be able to fly higher. It's a drone. They won't have it. So I don't really know what to do. Maybe I missed something. Maybe it's just me. But it definitely seems a bit odd. I don't know. I just don't know. And it's as far as I can go. This is the end of the road as such. 31.5 metres. more explored because like I said I, I brought the second vehicle filled it up with fuel so its cargo was all the fuel and then when I moved to this map well, I didn't check before I moved to this map I must have I literally just went back back to where it was and then click go to the wire wire whatever it is location it brought me here I drove all the way over to this vehicle to try and give it some fuel got here and I realised I didn't have any cargo. So I don't even know where my cargo went. And whether it removed it when I did the recovery initially. Or what? I don't know. Seems a bit wrong really. I'm 70 odd metres away now. So yeah, I must admit, I'm a little bit disappointed. I, I thought I might be able to do a bit better than I have done. And it seems that there's no sort of... I don't know, there's just no sort of recourse for it, really. Maybe someone will tell me in the comments exactly what it is you're supposed to be doing in this no more shaking mission, but for me, I'm a very disappointed player. <laughs> Tell me to explore, I'm done exploring. I can't get up there. Can you get up there? You can't go up there, Bob. I'm gonna have to drive around just a little bit more. Let's see what's down here. But yeah. I, I was I would hope for a bit more. No, like a AAA product as such, just something a bit more helpful than what I've received. It's not very clear on a lot of the things, so the missions don't really tell you exactly what it is you need to be doing. Which is just lame really isn't it it's got this whole look we've made a game but we don't want you to actually play it feel about it <laughs> I don't know if that's right or not but that's what it feels like can't go that far 91, 96 99 Right, so apparently I've conducted the this whatever it is. I 
165 meters from where I'm supposed to be doing this survey, which if I look on the map now is here. If I click on conduct survey, it comes here. Whereas before it was coming over here. So I mean, what's all that about? I don't understand that. I bet if I was plonk myself right in the middle there, it would say, yeah, you're here now. I don't understand. I don't understand. No fuel again. I'm going to have to abandon this mission after an hour of the last episode. We're in 21 minutes of this episode and all I've done is fly around in a drone and crash. So yeah, I'm not entirely feeling this game at the moment. And I think a lot of the players I've spoken to have said this one doesn't feel... I don't know, it just doesn't feel the same as the other mud runner type games like snow runner for instance that seemed very polished I told you exactly where you had to go what you had to do that sort of thing you know whereas this one just doesn't feel it maybe i'm being a bit harsh maybe i just don't know you have to let me know what you think in the comments If you've experienced more than just expeditions, you know, like you've done Mud Runner and you've done Snow Runner and you've played this, maybe you can give me some sort of feedback. But for me, it's not feeling. I don't know. But I don't get excited about playing it. Whereas Snow Runner was very much a case of, well, I wonder what I'm going to be doing today, you know, what mission will there be? All the missions were laid out and you could see pretty much straight away what you're doing. And I suppose a lot of this is the same, but something about it feels weird. Probably my harshest review of any game I've played, to be honest. But there we go, I've got no fuel left. And I got 67 metres away. So yes, I don't know. Just not sure. Not sure at all. Let's head back to the headquarters. zoom in and I can zoom out still. <laughs> right, hit headquarters, right you are, off you go. Yeah, so unless I decide I'm going to do something in particular, like I might go and have a look at these other maps in another episode, um, and we'll basically check out the first few things that it lets us do. But when you look at this, like five out of five expeditions, three out of three contracts, zero of two tasks, and one, one of two upgrades. Now finding upgrades, you've got to do some weird scanning stuff um, and then hope that it, you're near it. Um, 37 expeditions and 41 contracts. You think, well, this is going to be a really busy map, wouldn't it? And look, it is. It is a busy map. So this is the first part of the Grand Canyon. But you can't do any of these because you need to do urgent repair. Now on here, you can't see urgent repair. So now you have to go and find which map urgent repair is on. And there it is there, but that's locked. So you can't do that even if you could find this place. It's because you have to do hidden, hidden treasures of the fort, which is this one here. And so it, it just, I, I just can't find a thread, you know? It's just really difficult to work out where it is I'm supposed to be going and what I'm supposed to be doing. So you, oh, you, get, you, you do these first few ones, which are relatively simply explained, and they're on the map you're actually on. And then it just kind of throws a curveball. So this one, for instance, you need to do this one, but you can't do that one because you need to do urgent repair. But you can't do urgent repair because you need to do hidden treasures, which is this one here, which is on this map, which I haven't found. 
and they're not shown on the map when you look at the map because the only you can only find the new maps when you located the gateways and I guess that gives it a kind of like a encourages you to drive around aimlessly just looking at the different parts of the map which is fair enough I suppose at the end of the day you could do that and it does highlight these little bits here as little jobs so I suppose contracts is a is an option you could go and do the contracts constantly but tasks things just don't seem as simple as you'd like them to be I suppose is what I'm getting at I don't know it just doesn't feel right something feels a bit weird still it is what it is it's a good game I mean it is, it is they've spent a lot of time on it I suppose and there there are uh, vehicles to discover and and all that good stuff so yeah and they have done all the normal writing things out. But it doesn't really... I don't know. It doesn't really... It's like... I don't know. I just, I just don't know how to explain it. It just it feels strange. It feels strange. Anyway. I expect that at some point I will revisit it, but for now, I think this is pretty much the last episode I'm going to be doing. But uh, I thank you for watching. I really appreciate your company. Um, make sure you hit the like button just in case anybody else fancies watching it as well. Um, if not, then don't worry about it. <laughs> I will see you next time. Okay, bye.